Oh gosh. Hello. I'm giving everything a few minutes to kind of let people join. I'm probably going to put up like a, let me put up a warning because we're going to talk about some semi-sensitive stuff. Let me do that really quick because I don't want, I don't know, I don't want to like accidentally expose anybody to stuff they don't want to hear and stuff like that. So let me put up a warning really quick. Yeah, no, it's it is literally 3:30 in the morning for me. Um the Wild Horse Island server's dot. It it's dying. It's going to die. It's basically done for. They made probably the worst choice they possibly could have and now people are very upset. Yeah, it's right now it is currently it is actively withering away as we speak. Um, I also cannot find text box for the life of me. There it is. Okay. People are rioting. People are upset. Yeah, people are swearing, uh, sending screenshots to each other. All kinds of stuff. It's... It's a mess. Also, thank you for the sub. Actually, hold on. Let me, um... Let me turn off subscriber-only mode. I forgot to do that. Anyone. Bam. I don't want to profit off the situation. I don't want any of that. There we go. You don't have to be subscribed to talk now. Anybody can talk. Sorry, that was a little oversight on my part there. I'm trying to, like, multitask. I was not prepared to stream tonight at all. So, okay. So, a rundown for those of you not in the Wild Horse Islands Discord server. Here's what happened. Trick randomly announced he was doing an overhaul on the server right so he announces he's doing an overhaul on the server also i'm in horse valley right now because i just i wanted to put something on screen it's not a lot but it's something um trick essentially made a bunch of changes to make the server safer this includes removing threads removing the art channel removing Basically, everything that made the server worth staying in. Let's see, let me, let me pull up the full list here. So this is what Trick removed. Trick, this is what Trick has changed. The ability to create and chat in threads has now been removed. Voice channels have been removed. Game art, off-topic media, value chat, and chat 2 have been removed. Bug reports is being replaced with a form submission instead of a text channel. We no longer use mod mail. If you're concerned that requires immediate moderator attention, please ping available moderator. Why are these changes? The server has grown so much to the point it's that there's far too much to manage and moderate with how the server was organized before. Because of this, we were things were going unseen, creating a potentially unsafe environment for some users to be in. We do not want that. These changes are intended to simplify the server, making it manageable to moderate and, again, and ultimately keeping the server as safe as possible. We understand that, uh, that we've made significant changes to how the server works, but we are certain these changes are necessary. We will continue to adjust the server as we see necessary to ensure safety and function for everybody. Here's the thing. He just lied, like, four times in, um... He just lied four times, like, four times in that. Because I could tell you one thing, he does not have people's safety at best interest, because if he did, he would have made a lot of better decisions. Two, um, half the staff team that I'm aware of, that I've seen screenshots of, at least community managers, possibly admins, I'm not sure, are homophobic. Now, this is not a gameplay stream. This is mostly just going to be me talking. I just wanted to put something in the background so you guys have something to look at. Which, let me put up the warning, then we're going to get into the more sensitive topic. Let's see. My spelling is really bad. I'm tired. I'm, like, having cold shivers. So, I'm, like...
I guess victim blaming kind of. Okay. Background color. Oh god, what did I just- I don't know what I did. I- I- hold on. I broke it. There, we're gonna put that right in the middle of the screen. Okay. Here's the thing. When we're talking about stuff today, right? Let's not go after the moderators. We're not talking about moderators specifically. We might talk about the mod team as a whole, but let's not target anyone specific because I know a lot of the mods are actually decent people. They might be younger than most people are okay with, but I know a lot of them are pretty decent people or they're good people. Let's not go after specific mods. Um, the only people who I will be mentioning by name here are two community managers and Trick. That is it. Anybody else will be given either a random name or just won't be named at all. All right. So I'm also kind of like just watching what's happening in chat right now, too. But um, unofficial servers are skyrocketing yet. So. The main reason I said that Trick was lying in that statement, I do in fact have screenshot proof of Trick actively ignoring a victim of grooming from an adult man that they met through Happy Acres. They just, well, let me look, did they delete chat? They might have. They, did they delete chat? Things things are disappearing. I think they might have chat. They, oh my god. Trading ads just got deleted. They're deleting everything. I'll be showing you guys screenshots. I just gotta make sure certain people's names are blurred out because I don't wanna like have anybody go after victims or anything like that. Yeah, they're lit I'm literally watching as they delete each each like area one by one. Or private, yeah. Oh no, if they ban me, I really don't care. I really don't. I'm sick and tired of trying to defend this community cuz I've been trying to defend this community since 2022, since the day I started playing. And you know what? I'm tired of that. I'm I'm very tired of that. So I'll show you guys screenshots after I discuss everything. So, Trick, there is screenshot proof of Trick letting a pedophile stay in the server with full knowledge this person was grooming a child from their server, um, as well as probably went on to do it to multiple other people. On top of that, there is proof that two, I think there, I don't know how many community managers are, but two of the community managers are homophobic, or at least act homophobic. Right? But wait. But wait. It gets worse. You know why? Because I've firsthand experienced just how much they don't care about the community. Trick has ghosted me. Has been ghosting me since April of this year. Why? Literally no reason. There was absolutely no reason. There, there was no reason for them to ghost me. They just completely ignored me. They've been ignoring me since April. They still have me friended. I can still message them. 
but they've been ghosting me since April. Oh, yeah, they just, they just hid bot commands, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, they're, they're hiding everything. There is literally no, nowhere you can talk in the server now. They unlisted everything. Everything. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can pull this up. Do I have a window capture set up? I do. They did. They did deleted bot commands. Bot commands is gone. And my thing is not capturing properly. Hold on. I'm trying to, my thing is not behaving with me here. Let me put everything on my second monitor really quick. And I'll show you guys what's going on, like, live. Trick probably won't. They have never cared about the community, pretty much. At least from what I've seen. And I don't think that's going to change today. And I'm like trying to set this up so you guys can see it. Okay, let me let me do this. So you guys don't see my servers on the side. Okay. So, you see this, right? I can go through... I'm gonna go through every single area. There's not a single place you can talk anymore. They literally silence everyone. All right, Tangle, you're all good. Yeah, no, the one thing they can't do is silence me. Because you know what? It, as sad as this is to say, and this isn't me trying to be, like, self-centered or anything. This is not even just towards me. It's mostly towards Cooley. Content creators are the ones who made this game as big as it is. I'm not going to join any un unofficial servers, and if I do, it won't be on stream because I don't have control of what's being said in there and stuff. Yeah, no, I, I liked Wild Horse Islands because I liked horses, and then they just destroyed their community. Like, you know what's funny? They also don't moderate in-game scams anymore. If you get scammed in-game, you're screwed. They won't do anything to help you. They will literally not do anything to help you. I literally got some proof of someone saying they just scammed someone, reported it, and they didn't do anything. They said, oh, we don't, mo we don't moderate in-game scams anymore. Honestly, it's in Trick's best interest to just shut down the server. It really is at this point. Because people are not going to come back around this time. I don't know, it sucks, because, like, I feel like out of most people, the people who really got screwed over in the end here is the players who really actually cared about the game and the dev team. I know so many people who genuinely cared about the game, and they're essentially just being told, we don't care about you. So, here's the thing, right? This...
I don't know. It's, I don't know how to describe it. How do I describe what's going on? How do I describe how I feel in this situation? I don't know if I can. Oh, Trick is typing. Let's see, let's see where this goes. Trick is typing. Honestly, if you value your mental health, Wild Horse Islands is not the game for you. As much as I love horses, I, I'll be honest, I don't even like Horse Valley that much, but I'm, I would pl I'm playing Horse Valley over Wild Horse Islands at this point. I stopped playing Wild Horse Islands almost two or three weeks ago, and I don't intend on ever going back. There is no intention of me ever going back. After this is over and after everything is concluded or whatever happens. Also, I'm not targeting all the creators. Cavalry has not done anything wrong. The newer dev has not done anything wrong. It's just Trick. Trick is the only one causing issues here. Because Trick choosing to ignore things and Trick choosing to continuously keep making bad decisions when people literally are trying to explain to him that it's a bad decision is what's destroying the community. This is solely Trick's fault, and he won't live up to his- he won't stand up to his actions. Yes, I'm where- I'm- I'm watching this happen in real time. I will say, don't go after the other devs. The only person truly at fault here is trick and again don't go be violent towards him or don't go attack him just hold him accountable for his actions don't let them forget that we know what they did you don't have to be mean to them you don't got to be mean to them you don't have to actively attack them just hold them accountable for their actions all of my stuff is going to stay on my account. The only stuff I've intended to give away has already been given away off my account. And I don't intend to touch Wild Horse Islands ever again. It really is wild. It's, it's honestly crazy to see this happening in real time. Watching a sur like an entire community literally die in real time. Look, people are unreacting from the, <laughs> from the heart thing. Where are the screenshots? I'd have to go hunting on Discord. Let me wait for him to finish typing and let me go. I'll go find them. Because some of them I do have to like still blur out names and stuff because I haven't got around to it yet. I just I want to see what Trick is typing. I want you guys to see this happen in real time to see what his response to this is. Before I show you guys screenshots of everything that's gone on. The kind of content you'll be making. Um, I still do some horse games and stuff. Like, I still play, like, Horse Valley and Rival Stars and stuff like that. And I also just play, like, other Roblox games. I, I love Wild Horse Islands. Wild Horse Islands is what made my channel what it is today. But it's sad. I miss 2022 Wild Horse Islands. Because back then, it was actually enjoyable. And now it's just like, you go to the Discord server, and you talk in the chat, and you immediately someone calls you a mean name. Or immediately someone has a snarky, re a snarky reply to you. One time when I was voicing my opinion about which update should be like, put out first, someone like, was actively being rude towards me and didn't get in trouble for it. One of the mods literally replied to me in a rude way and then deleted it so nobody would see it. I sadly don't have screenshots of this stuff because when I went back to try to find it, they deleted my messages. And it's sad because, like, you can ask other people, too. This isn't just what's happened to me. This has happened to tons of people. Content creators, all kinds of stuff. Terrible accusations and threats. I've hidden the main channels for now. This will hopefully be temporary, and I hope people can understand why we've made these changes to the server and can move forward as a respectable community. You do not respect your own community, sir. Those of you who have been nothing but nice and respectful, most of you, I know. I apologize for, for the inconvenience. All right, let me go ahead and turn off my display capture really quick. And let me go download stuff.
because let me grab the screenshots because I have them saved somewhere. I have lots of screenshots. Oh, also, apparently, um, apparently the reason that random LGBTQ art was being deleted was because one of the community managers thought flat like the LGBTQ flags were controversial, which is, hmm, okay, not sure about that one. Hold on, let me save these images so I can show them. I change it. Okay. Let me grab those. Those are one of some of the most important ones. Let me go grab the one that someone sent me earlier today. Let me grab that. Let me grab that. The other ones I gotta blur out names, so I can't show you guys those yet. But all right. Let's see, let me pull up screenshots. Before I do anything, read the warning on screen, because if not, you will probably regret it, because this is where we're getting into the sensitive topics. I, I, it's, I don't really care, like, that's not to be rude. I, I appreciate you being sorry for, like, stuff and everything. I'm not the one that you should be apologizing to. If any, if you should feel sorry for anyone, feel sorry for the people who really do enjoy the game and this ruined the game for them. The only people suffering here are the players. And I'm no longer a player. I am simply here to spread the word. All right, here we go. Screenshot one. I'll read this out loud to the people who can't see it on the screen because I know sometimes it might be too small. I don't know. Stuff like that. All right. So. <clears throat> Hello, Trick. And this is from an ex moderator. I feel like I should point that out. This is from a moderator. They were a moderator when they sent this. Hello, Trick. Apologies for the DM, but there was a report of an 18 year old name on screen, which they don't have that account anymore. So it doesn't really matter. Harassing and saying inappropriate things to someone in the age range of 14 to 16 in the server and their DMs and acting like a predator towards them. I tried seeing if Hansy, who I think was an admin at the time, could perhaps do something about it since who knows if he'll do something like this to another member or it's purely horrible what he's doing to victim name. She admitted to XO forcing her into a relationship, saying inappropriate things to her and other horrible things. Not only that, but he has caused lots of drama on Happy Acres. I do have a screenshot of this somewhere. I'll have to find it. I don't know where it's at. Um, but essentially, like, he would just randomly, like, be petty towards someone else and it would start arguments. And, others, and, an, and another ser member's server. And about Hansi. This is about the admin. Hansi only warned him after, even after I told him what he's done. Blank, which is victim's name, which I personally think is a bannable offense. Also said crap once, which I'm pretty sure is a blacklisted word. Another thing is on two occasions, Hansi has called things personal drama or drama they don't want to deal with. Hansi even removed the warning because Exo said he wouldn't do it again, which sounds like me, uh, sounds like a lie to avoid punishment. Sorry if I'm having trouble reading this. It's very late for me. I should be asleep right now. I do not mean to come off as rude, disrespectful, or immature, but I feel like this is something that needs to be addressed. I'm in a group chat with two others, one which is victim name's friend, and it includes screenshots of EXO also causing drama and on another server. Thank you for taking the time to read this, and again, apologies for disturbance. This is the message that was sent directly to Trick about the situation. Would you like to see what Trick responded with? Because it's not very reasonable. I understand kind of where he's coming from, but it's still unexcusable. Trick says, I see Hansi's point because rule of thumb is we cannot moderate DMs. We really cannot be expected to act as the police in the situations like this. If this person acts this way in our server, they'll be banned. Otherwise, I would suggest anyone who has been made uncomfortable by that person to block them.
they were told that somebody was actively harassing a minor in an inappropriate way. And their response is, we can't moderate DMs. Here's the thing. I understand not being able to moderate DMs. But in a situation like this, DMs or not, that puts people in your server at risk. Because you know what happens when he's in a server that not only has one minor, but probably hundreds of people who are under 18, that they could very easily do the same thing to? And what does Trick do? Oh, well, it's in DMs. Can't do anything about it. So, yep. But wait, it gets worse. That happened in 2022, right? Which, I'll pull up screenshots for this, but I just gotta find them first. I had something else similar happen to me. Not being harassed in that way, but... So I had someone on my mod team. I'm not going to say names. I do not want anybody going after this person. If you're on the mod team, you know who this is. This person, after ditching the entire mod team, decided to go into the Happy Acres public chat and publicly spread rumors and bash me and my mod team in the Happy Acres chat. So you know what I did? I reported it to Modmail. Let me go find... where did When did I last talk to Modmail? I just gave up after it. Let me go find it. I think it was right. Okay, yeah. So I said, hi, I didn't want to report, any, uh, report anything of this. However, this person has decided to bring a personal feud between themselves and my friends into public Happy Acres chat. My friends' message about it, about it were removed about the same thing, and theirs were not, as far as I'm aware. I do not wish for any punishment against them, but this is a personal feud and shouldn't be brought into public. I could provide screenshots if needed, but if it's possible to avoid, it's preferred. I don't wish to barge in on their privacy. For the record, she's also been targeting hurt targeting hurtful statuses towards people I know. Their response. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. We would recommend blocking all users involved. Please avoid bringing any outside drama into the server and please report any further incidents. We'll be keeping a close eye on the situation. A moderation action will occur if the situation continues. Thanks for letting us know. We hope you have a good day or night. That was on... The... Uh, August 15th? I'm not good at reading stuff. I think August 15th. August 17th. I reported again because they continued. And also bragged about not being able to be reported because they were friends with a moderator at the time. I do not believe that mod is a mod anymore, though. I said, since this person has continued to throw shade at me and my friends in public, I'm contacting you, at all, you all again. And I prefer if my ticket was handled by a mod that isn't, insert the mod that they were friends with, as this person has openly taunted us with the fact they are friends with a mod being them specifically. Almost everything they have claimed is untrue as far as I'm aware. She also decided to go bring my friend into the drama that was unaware for no reason at all. I'm sick and tired of this continuing and then bring it into public. Guess what they tell me? So, I sent that on the 17th. They responded to me on the 24th. And said, thanks for bringing this to our attention. We'll be looking into this as soon as possible and contact you if we have any questions or concerns. Then, on the 31st, half a month later after I sent him that report. Thanks for bringing this to our attention. Unfortunately, we're unable to moderate outside personal drama unless there's a legitimate safety concern. We suggest blocking and ignoring the user as much as possible. However, should the harassment become targeted and breaking any rules, such as bypassing, threatening, etc., please be sure to reach out again so we can review and take appropriate action. We will close the ticket, but have noted the situation in case it continues and will be able to reference it if there's any future incidents. We're sorry for the situation. We can't do more at this time. 
I waited a month, like half a month for them to tell me, oh, we can't do anything. But wait, it gets worse. I know, shocking. It gets worse. I'm reading this straight from my mod mail reports, too. I think there was one other one. Let me look. I got a scroll. I reported a lot of stuff to mod mail, like for myself and through for other people who didn't have Discord. Uh, where was it? So I, I will give them some credit. Sometimes they were actually helpful with mod mail, but not very often. Oh, yeah. Also, I had someone actively stalking and harassing me through Wild Horse Islands for multiple weeks. They got banned for a couple weeks, came back again, continued to harass me, and they didn't do anything about it. And just cl and they're like, we can't do anything about that, sorry. Mm-hmm. I had someone who was actively following me around, misgendering me, and just, like, chasing me everywhere. Like, I genuinely mean it. Oh, did I just lose connection? No, oh, okay. But I lost. Okay. It it happened. It's whatever. I don't really care. They were probably a little kid. Okay, let me see. Um, I, I'm trying to find these screenshots too. I have more. I'm not sure where I have them saved at. Did I send them? To Like I said, I was not prepared for this stream, like, at all. Public servers are just horrid. I avoid- I avoided public servers, like, constantly. Let's see. Can I send it? Hold on. I'm trying to locate these because I didn't save them where I normally save stuff like this. Here. That was when... So there was also a while back where they removed the ability to have art contests or commissions or show your commissions or show artwork for other people in the art channel. And people were mad, obviously, because you would get in trouble if you sent a photo that, like, you drew for a friend for free. Okay, let's see. I genuinely can't find these screenshots. I'll have to hunt them down before I post, like, an actual full-fledged edited video on this. But another situation that I'm going to talk about, which I'm not going to say this moderator's specific names. This person wasn't at fault because they most likely didn't know about the situation. Okay, so a long, long time ago. Let me, let me figure out what day it was. A long, long time ago, on January 2nd of this year, I got a warning from Happy Acres. I hadn't talked in there for multiple weeks, so I was like, hmm. Wonder what I got warned for. Guess what I got warned for? Take a wild guess. Love to see you guys guess. I want to see if you guys can guess. I know some of you guys know. Take a, take a wild guess what I got in trouble for. I got a warning for having a homophobic status. You guys want to know what my status was? My status, which wasn't even directed at anybody, it was just like a joke, mostly towards my friend. It had a little pointing, it had like, 
I think it had like some kind of emoji like pointing at you or like a pointing emoji or a thumbs up or something like that. And it said, don't move or you're gay. Right? I got a warning for that. But then, but then, after I literally argued with him in mod mail for like four hours, because these people just kept trying to tell me, no, it suggests be it suggests that you're homophobic. I was like, bro, I'm literally a man dating a man. Also, Pink, I did hear about that. One of the somebody got warned because of something like that too. Which I'll talk about in a second. But there was a there was a moderator that, you know just so happened to have a status that was very, very similar to mine, right? You know what's really funny? Their status was literally just like pointing at you and that said gay, and that's okay, but if I say don't move or you're gay, I'm homophobic? Like, huh? But no, it gets worse, because you know what? Both the community managers are homophobic. Both of them. Hold on, hold on. And I got screenshots, don't you worry. I have screenshots. Don't you worry. All right. Yeah, sadly, we don't allow swearing here. I'm sorry about that, guys. I know some of you guys are used to swearing, but that's just because I actually like do content over here for kids. Um, so here is two of the community managers just having a nice little conversation on why, you know, people aren't allowed to put pride flags in their artwork. No, you could say damn. Damn is fine. Damn and hell are fine, but others, other things considered swear words are usually not. They started deleting artwork that had pride flags in it because I guess somebody made a big deal about it. I've never really seen anybody use that one bet, but I don't think that one's particularly terrible. I think that one probably let slide a little bit. So, both of these people in this image, the one being replied to and the one replying, are both community managers. And then let me see, I have another screenshot of something too that I would like to share. This is also about a community manager. This one is just someone talking about it. I don't know if any screenshots exist of it. No, kindness is a real person. And they have children too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I know they don't have to agree, but the fact that they're saying that people shouldn't be able to put pride flags in their artwork because it's basically controversial, that's not okay. You no, know, kindness is a real person. You know, like, honestly, as someone part of the community myself, I'm okay with people not, like, being supportive as long as they treat us like decent human beings and let us be us 
I'm fine with it. I don't, you guys don't have to be like, oh my god, I love gay people. As long as you treat us like human beings that can have opinions and stuff too, that's what matters. It's, it's devastating because those people, kindness, and I'm just going to call them cat because I don't feel like trying to pronounce their name every time. Those people are supposed to be community managers. You know, people who make sure the mods are in line. The people who are supposed to protect the community. People who are supposed to be an, basically an equivalent to an admin. Here's the one thing I want to know. Where are the admins in this situation? Because I know there is an admin. Where are they in this situation? Like, I don't think the admin that, I'm, that I know exists has done anything necessarily wrong. But them being, like, almost completely inactive is kind of not a good thing. If you're an admin in a community, you should be pretty darn active unless you have a good excuse to be, like something urgent's going on, or you're going on vacation, or stuff like that. Like, if you're in the Wild Horse Islands Discord server, I very much suggest leaving, either now or after the situation ends. It's, I don't know, it's, I feel like, I don't know, I'm like, I'm so stumped because I don't know how to describe that. Oh, also, yeah, I'm pretty sure 90% of the mods are under 18. I don't know everybody's exact ages, but... And, like, it sucks, too, right? Because, like, I've had people in-game and stuff in the past go after me being, like, oh, you use they, them pronouns to be cool and, like, going after my friends and being rude to my friends. Then they get reported and nothing gets done about it. Like, And, again, I'm not going after any specific mods. Most of the mods haven't done anything really wrong that I'm aware of. Any mods that I've had issues with have been demoted by this point. People in-game? I'm honestly not surprised they silenced them on the Discord server, so you know what? They're gonna spread it to the game. Also, fun fact... Um, I figured, like, you guys should know this. Fun fact, if you have premium on Roblox and you play Wild Horse Islands, you're giving them money. Because of premium payouts. So, if you really don't want to support them, your best bet, especially if you're a premium member, is just to not play at all. You know what the sad part is, right? The big issue with miners being on a mod team isn't the fact that they're just just because they're minors usually it's more ideal to hire people who are 18 or older but sometimes there are genuinely good mods who are not above 18 that are like 14 15 if they willingly volunteered in this convert and in that that's one thing but lying about your age to get on a mod team no shouldn't be on a mod team because of that i've had issues with that in the past it's not, it's not a conversation of age, it's a conversation of maturity. You could have a 14-year-old on, you could have two 14-year-olds on their mod team. One of them could be super immature and shouldn't be a mod, and one of them could be very mature and actually be a really good mod and do their job properly and keep the community safe. It's, it's not a question of age, it's a question of maturity, and no matter the age of most of the mods and the admins and the staff team, quite a few are immature. Not all of them, but quite a few of them are immature or just 
don't do their job. Oh, you guys, you guys want, hold on, you guys want to see something really funny that I find, I find very amusing, considering they're all about being, like, all-inclusive and letting people have opinions and stuff like that, right? Well, you know what? You see how, um, you see how these are announcements are here? Oh, let's see, I could react with one of these, some hearts, or some hearts, or a check mark. I can't react with anything else. You, d you don't get to choose reactions. The, the staff team does. I can't react with anything besides hearts or a check mark. They are literally only giving you the option to be happy about their decisions. No, it's not that, because in other channels, like, certain channels you can. Like, hold on. Let me, like... He might have turned off reactions in all the channels because of stuff, but in the past, you could react with stuff. Like, if you look in here, there's tons of different reactions and stuff. But then if you go to, like, update leaks, only hearts. Or only things related to that message. You go, you go to links and socials. This is when they still had it where you could react to things, right? Announcements. A lot of these only have hearts or check marks on them. I mean, they went out of their way to silence people and not address the actual issue with things. See, here's this right here is a perfect example of what not to do when people are upset at you. You know what could have actually bettered this situation? Trick realizing, oh, okay. They are not happy we've removed threads. Maybe we could take the new channels and give them thread permissions back. That would fix a lot of the one big reason why a lot of people are unhappy. Another server you can go to. I know there's community servers and stuff. It'll probably start popping up on YouTube and TikTok. <clears throat> I personally probably won't join any because, like, I'm only- I was only in this server just to see if they unproved it all, and they clearly haven't. And, like, hold on, let me, like, turn this off for a second, because I don't want to, like, accidentally reveal DMs with people that I don't want to reveal. Trick still has me friended, shockingly. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys. Right? I'm trying to, like... I'm trying to do this without exposing my deep stuff. Okay. So, this is my DMs with Trick. Trick himself. This right here is the last time he talked to me. This was on April 10th. Coincidentally, the same day me and my ex broke up. You know what's funny about that situation? My ex used to be on the mod team. I don't think they are anymore. I don't know if they got demoted or stepped down or what. But they're not on the mod team anymore. But when this happened, my ex had just got on the mod team and then we broke up. This was the last time Trick ever responded to me. Let's see. April 11th, the day after. Letting them know I'm still having the same issue with this, this bug as before. 
Three days later, show them that there's a random floating windmill that I found on, st on, on stream. You can see it in the picture. On the 16th, I asked about bunny color plushies as I was trying to collect them and I wanted to share with stream because other people were trying to collect them too. 17th, the day after, I was experiencing a bug with noises and I couldn't tell if it was a bug or intentional. Ignored. Tech Ace came out on June 2nd. Uh, there was a pretty severe bug going on with like the, the saddles and tack and stuff. And then on the 12th, I said, I know we don't talk, but please find a way to ask the community without Discord about that poll too. This is when they were making like a very big decisive poll. People in the community that don't have Discord feel really left out in the decisions, right? That same day, and here's the thing. Here's how I know that he read my messages and purposely ignored me. Trick is not a child. Trick is a grown man. He is a grown man. He is an adult. He has no excuse to be acting like this. When I sent that message, that same day, he mysteriously decided to open up the Roblox group and ask people about their opinion on the poll, then proceeded to ignore everybody's opinion on that poll in the group wall. That's how I know he read my message and ignored me. Because that, that group only opened after I sent that message. Honestly, I don't even think it's worth playing at all anymore. If you value your sanity and you want to have a, a... If you want to play a game that has a good community that you'll feel safe in, Wild Horse Islands is not the place. Not anymore. It used to be, but not anymore. It hasn't been for a long time. And it's just gotten progressively worse and worse and worse. And then, 10 days later, I asked if I could get photos of the new Island Unique hairs so I could inform people about it that weren't in the Discord. Because if you guys haven't seen, before all of this started happening, I used to be a pretty big content creator. I actually have my own item in the game. Both content creators that had items in the game that were custom made for them have both quit Wild Horse Islands. Both of us have quit. Also got ignored here too. Uh, it, it, it's, it's been almost two months since I sent that message. So yeah, figured I should, I figured I should point that out. It's really sad because when I first started playing Wild Horse Islands, it was a comfort game. It was my comfort game. It was a game I really truly enjoyed. It was a game that I made a lot of friends on. I met Emily through Wild Horse Islands. I met Tanger through Wild Horse Islands. I got to know Evan and Star through Wild Horse Islands and all of a lot, a lot of my really close friends. And the sad part is almost every person I just listed there doesn't play Wild Horse Islands anymore. The sad part, Wild Horse Islands has lost a lot of its big content creators. Who keep in mind, and I mean this literally, when I first started playing Wild Horse Islands, before multiple content creators started making lots of content on the game, the game was nothing. Wild Horse Islands is as popular as it is today 
because content creators and people on YouTube were making content about the game because they enjoyed it. And what do they do to the people who worked so hard to have a place in the community and to help them grow their game and support their game and help people with their game? They forgot about us. They don't care. Because I actually just today got my content creator role removed. After quitting. I got a message from Dinobot. Uh, approximately seven hours ago. You were warned in Happy Acres for we have noticed that you st have you stated that you have and will quit making Wild Horse Island content. With this being the case, we can no longer support by letting you have the content creator role this time. Importantly, note. Also, whoever wrote this does not have good grammar. Importantly, note the role is not permanently removed, meaning there is a chance to be able to reapply for the role. And at that time, we will review if you qualify for that role again. I do want to say, even though I don't do Wild Horse Islands anymore, if anybody wants some, some place with people that like horses, but also play other things, I'm happy to take anybody into my community that wishes to be here. This community started as a Wild Horse Islands community, and slowly but surely, everybody who's still around has pretty much quit. I, I don't know, Horse Valley's kind of good. It gets repetitive pretty quickly a lot of the time. But it's a pretty, it's a pretty good game if, you're, if you like games that are more... I don't know how to describe it. So. Wild Horse Islands is more of an exploration kind of game. Horse Valley is a more grindy game. Where you level up horses and breed them to get better stats and stuff like that. that that's basically what Horse Valley is. Oh gosh, don't even get me started on the unicorn event. It's so bad. Oh. Like, in concept, I was actually kind of excited for it. I was curious to see if the unicorn event was going to be good, but the fact that the unicorns don't look anything like any of the other horses throws me off so bad. Like, the event itself isn't even that bad. I just hate the fact that none of the unicorns fit in at all. No, you know, here's the thing with that, though, right? I get that they have to work with, like, that company and stuff, but there is multiple other games that also are advertising that same game that have better horse models than Wild Horse Island. The horse game. Like, I am not joking. Hold on. Hold on, I'm, we're get, we're, we're switching games really, hold, hold, hold on, I need to show you guys this, because this is really disappointing. There's this game, called Twilight Daycare, it's a game about raising babies. They also got sponsored by the Unicorn Academy thing, right, 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 now here's the thing, who do you think would make the better horse model? I'm gonna take off the spoiler for who do you think would have the better horse model? The horse game? Or the game that has literally nothing to do with horses? Take a wild guess. <laughs> you are gonna be very disappointed. Okay, right? The sad part is I actually like this model more 
than the ones in Wild Horse Island. So let's see. I don't, I don't know. Where is it? Rides. This is like the same quality as the Wild Horse Islands one, but it is a different model. You can tell it's a different model. But this one actually looks like, I don't know, the face is similar, but it looks less like it's going to bite your feet off when you're sleeping and a little more friendly. No, it's different. If you look at how the body is built, it's different model as well as the hair and stuff. Now, the animations are pretty atrocious. But again, this game is not a horse game. It's sad that the model is literally on par with a horse game, when this is not a horse game at all. You wanna know what's funny? You wanna know what's funny? The only other horses that exist in this game are, like, atrocious. But then this one's actually not horrible, at least when it's standing still. Oh, let me... Man, I have not played this in forever. I don't know where the heck I'm going. Where is this at? Oh, it's over here. I don't like the- the walking animation is very broken, but... These are the only other horses in the game. How did... A game that has, like, no experience making horses make a model just as good as the horse game? The walk is terrible. Walk is atrocious, but the model itself isn't horrible. I don't I just find that really funny. I find that incredibly funny. And you know what the worst part is, right? I don't believe it was the company that made the anatomy on those horses and stuff so bad in Wild Horse Islands. I think the anatomy in that is so bad because they just didn't care. Because when you look at the actual horses from that show, they have really good anatomy. Like, they actually have really good anatomy. Ah, that bruise on my hand is getting worse. Let me save this image really quick. Let me let me show you guys. This. You guys want to see what the what they actually look like in the show? Because what they look like in the show looks nothing like the ones in Mud Horse Islands. These are the horses from the actual show. <laughs> I think those are like zip lines or something, but yeah, they do kind of look like sniper towers. Their anatomy is actually really good. How did Wild Horse Islands mess that up so bad? How? How does this game, how does, uh, I, this makes me so infuriated. How does this game, a game about raising toddlers and newborn babies, have a literally horse model that's probably more accurate to the original image than the Wild Horse Islands ones? How? I genuinely want to know. Also, you want to know something that's, that has made me so mad for so long? The, the, the seal brown Rebecano drives me crazy in Wild Horse Islands. It is literally just the normal seal brown without the white markings, with the chestnut Rebecano marking pasted onto it. It looks like someone drew it on with chalk. I'm the Rebecano guy. I love chestnut Rebeccanos. I love black Rebeccanos. I love the Rebeccano marking so much. But I hate the seal brown Rebeccano. It, it, I hate it with a passion. You know why? Because they didn't put any effort into it. Bro, I'd get on, I'd get on Mod Horse Islands to prove my point, but I don't want to give them any premium payouts, so like... 
you know. If you want to play horse games that aren't Wild Horse Islands on Roblox, Horse Destiny, Horse Riding Elite, Horse Racing Club, Horse Valley, uh, Maple Springs Eventing, uh, Lake Country Stables main game, uh, Wild Meadows. There's tons of games on Roblox. If you don't want to, if you want horse games not on Roblox, you got Rival Stars, you got the Ranch of Rivershine, you got a Stride, you got uh, I'm trying to think what else. You know, Star Stable is fun only if you have money, <laughs> pretty much, which is kind of, you know, not great. I, I need to get out of this game before my brain starts melting. Red Dead Redemption 2 is really good. If you have the money for Red Dead Redemption 2 and you're okay with swearing and potentially inappropriate themes, Red Dead Redemption 2 is an amazing game. Just in general and for horses. I'm going back to Horse Valley. Red Dead Redemption 2 online is really fun, but I, per I usually only play it when I play with friends. Like, I don't know. I feel like this whole situation could have simply been avoided if they just didn't redo the Discord server. <laughs> if they just left it how it was, none of this would have happened. And I think that's the funny part to me. They've been on thin ice for so long, and it took them remodeling the Discord server to make it safer to destroy the community. Well, I mean, like, the situation happening right now. Like, it probably would have happened at a later date for a different reason. But to stop everything that just happened, like, real time with the Discord server, they could have just kept the server how it was and probably would have been smooth sailing for a lot longer. Oh yeah, I know, the moment they removed value experts, they were doomed. Trick doesn't listen to his community. Probably never will, which is why I quit Wild Horse Islands. That is the main reason I quit Wild Horse Island. Him being... Well, let me put the... Him allowing a pedophile to stay in the Discord server was the final straw for me and gave me that final push I needed to fully quit. Oh, no. If they try to change it back and pretend like nothing happened... I have the whole thing documented on this live stream. And you know what they can't do? Take my stream down. Because you know what? I'm not playing Wild Horse Islands in this video. I'm not using their content. They try to sue me or anything? Good luck. I have photo evidence of everything I've talked about, so. Oh, yeah, no, I have, it's, it probably wouldn't be that difficult to make a server better than Happy Acres, because Happy Acres is, like, the lowest of low for Discord servers. Like, a long time ago, when I was still active in the Wild Horse Islands community, I was working on an unofficial Wild Horse Islands Discord server. But then I scrapped it because one, I lost motivation. Two, I just kind of wanted out of the community. I just find it funny that Trick says terrible accusations when. At least for me, and for multiple other people, there is screenshot evidence of that stuff happening. It's not accusations, it is the truth. It, it, it is literally the truth. 
How, like, how can they sit there and say that people are making accusations about them when I'm sitting here with photo evidence of basically every accusation those people are making? Picture of Trick's face got leaked? I mean, he already had his face on his Twitter profile, so I mean, like, I I'm not shocked. I know some people were going after the mods when a lot of the mods didn't do anything wrong. I understand them being like, don't attack the moderators and the other devs. But I mean, Trick can't really be mad at people for going after him because it's, it's true. We're not making up stuff about him. We're telling stuff that really did happen. Like, he really did ghost me for literally no reason on the same day me and my ex broke up. And he also did willingly choose to let a pedophile stay in his Discord server. And, you know, I'm pretty sure he's aware that both his community managers are uh, homophobic and he chooses to let them stay. And also his admin that's literally never online, like, ever, except for, like, maybe once in a blue moon, is still an admin. And as much as they didn't do anything wrong, as an admin position, you should be active. And if you're not active, you should step down. It's just, uh, it's sad. I need to get my I need to get my grubby little fingers on like the unofficial server link. So I'm I'm gonna see what's going on in there. Please please do bet. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Man. They really did just remake the Wild Horse Islands Discord server, didn't they? That's actually really funny. They, like, recreated it perfectly. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna check out like the server and stuff and see how things are being handled and if things are being handled okay I'll share the discord link in chat but I want to just like make sure that's okay like, make sure everything's being ran okay and stuff like that before I invite people in I'm guessing there's multiple of them I'm willing to join any, but I, I I don't know. Yeah, I know there's quite a few of them. Yeah, there's a lot of... There is a lot. I might see... I know some people are in here watching right now. If, if, like, the server that I was just invited to, the Happy Acres unofficial, if you guys need help with setting up moderation or setting up the server or anything, hit me up. I have lots of experience setting up servers and moderation. I'm willing to help. Even though I don't really play Wild Horse Islands anymore, I am willing to help out because I know 
I still do care about the people in the community. And not really the game and the dev, specifically Trick. But I care about people still. I'm just like checking things out, stuff like that. I don't know if I'll send the invite link in stream chat today. However, I'll like see how things get set up and stuff like that. And then I'll probably post something about it on the community tab and stuff like that. I just want to make sure everything is safe and everything's being handled okay and stuff like that before I invite people. Also, thank you for the membership. I really do appreciate it. Okay. So, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a little. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make myself a little folder. Of little little wild horse island servers, because I might get invited to other ones. I'm not sure. I'm willing to I'm willing to look into any of them, but I don't I don't know. It'll depend whichever one I like. I don't know whichever ones I think are safe and stuff like that. I'll probably share on the community tab. See here's here's the thing about that. Uh, Chunky Bunny. Also, I love your name. That's wonderful. Here's the difference between me and Trick. I care about my community. That is what I care about the most. I could care less about the money. I could care less about how many people I have on stream. My priority is making sure my community is safe for everyone. You can ask any of the mods, anybody who's been here for a long time. That has always been my priority. Trick's priority Make a success, make a su oh my gosh, sorry, I'm, I stutter, and I can't say certain words, and I, successful game, there we go, I'm struggling there, <laughs> but he wants to make a successful game rather than worry about what the community wants. That's the difference between me and Trick. Well, for for your information, uh, who, which, what man dresses like this and sounds like your sister? Apparently me. I'm a very, very manly man, as you can see, with my super cute pink cargo pants and white tank top. Extremely manly. No, no idea what you ever could be talking about. This is exactly how every man dresses. Hundred percent, totally. I, I know. I'm so manly. Thank you guys. I thanks so much. I really appreciate that. But it's. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just. I know. I need to. I need to bring back. I am a man as the pronouns on the screen. <laughs> But yeah, if it's late for you guys, go get some sleep. I'm mostly done talking about stuff. I'm just kind of like trying to keep up with things now. <laughs> oh, I just got invited to one and the first thing I see is someone screen sharing my stream in my Discord. I see you guys in there. Outfit approved by the Manly Man Club. Uh, here. Let me grab two Discord links. I'm going to say this now. I do not know for sure if you are going to see anything bad in these servers. They are still very new. If you wish to join these servers, it is at your own risk. I am not accountable for anything you may see. And if these servers are proved to be 
safe for the community and everything i'll put i'll post them on my community tab too i'm sending some i'm sending some discord links in the chat these are some of the uh unofficial happy acres servers i'm only in two but yeah click on the links if you can't use the links i'll probably post something on my community tab with a bunch of different links as well as like explaining how to get to them and stuff if you can't use the links but man i am exhausted i am really tired because you know what this all happened at like three in the morning for me i i got back out of bed <laughs> to stream this i am very tired also, one of the Discord servers has, they allow swearing. I don't know which one, but like I said, it, you're, it's purely your choice if you want to join. You're at risk joining any unknown server. Man, I didn't even have Pockybot up. I forgot Pockybot too. Um, I don't have a Wild Horse Islands Discord server, but I do have a Discord server that a lot of people play Wild Horse Islands in there because it's my, like, my channel server and a lot of my community still plays Wild Horse Islands. Yeah, no, I I stayed up late, and I'm staying up even later. Um, I suggest rewatching stream from the start if you're not sure what's going on. I'm probably gonna end stream soon unless you guys just want to chat. Cause I'm supposed to be sleeping, but honestly, now I'm like the adrenaline is rushing through me, and now I'm like wide awake. So I'm not probably going to sleep anytime soon. Also, Bat, I did share that one on stream. I alternated between the links. I don't know. Like I said, I'll like look through and do stuff and post it on the community tab. I mean, I'm I'll, I answer questions every stream anyways, so it's like, you know. Also, just for the record, because I know there's a lot of people here that have literally never been here before. I am a guy. My name is my name is Kai. That rhymed not on purpose. Um, Kai or Malachi or Vanilla or Vanilla. I don't care what you call me. He, he, him pronouns, they, them pronouns are fine. I mean, you could call me a washing machine if you want to. That's fine. Just probably not she pronouns. Your server code? Oh, uh, let me. Hold on. Let me get the link. Let me find it. Mods. <laughs> Mods, does someone have a Discord link? Because I can't find it. Uh, my, 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 the like, Pocky Clan's Discord server. Nessa, you're an admin. How do you not, how do you not have it? One of the mods has to have the Discord link. Come on, guys. I'm trying to get, someone asked for the link to, like, my 
channel Discord server, which <laughs> apparently none of the mods have the link. This is your job, guys. <laughs> You're supposed to have the link. Thank you, Tango. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, my back hurts. I should have really went to bed instead of getting back up, but I was too invested in the tea and the drama. You know. Alright, though. I can just- I'll chill for a little bit and just chat, answer questions, whatever. Or try to fill people in if people miss stuff. Yeah, I know, my horse is- He's just- <laughs> Here, let me give him a bath. I'm sorry, Prince. He's kind of just been waiting. What time is it for you? It is almost five in the morning. I should not be up this late, but like the massive rush of adrenaline watching all of this go down has made me wide awake. So I'm gonna be up for a little bit longer, probably. Um, <laughs> so I, I I recommend Horse Valley if you like repetitive games. It does get quite repetitive unless you very much pace yourself with it. But, um, it's fun, especially if you have friends and stuff. I don't know. I don't think Trick would take down the game itself because they're, they're too successful to care about what the community thinks. Here, hold on. Hold on. Do I have any boots left? Why? I don't know if I do. Do I have any <laughs> I do not. <laughs> Hold on. I, 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 I sadly do not have any boost left. Once, once I have my boost next month, I'll probably boost one of the, the unofficial servers. Uh, yeah, that does kind of suck. Um, if you want to make friends that play horse games, you might like this community because we play a lot of different horse games here. Not Wild Horse Islands, for obvious reasons. But we play, like, Horse Valley, Rival Star, Star Stable. We play a lot of different horse games. So if you want to meet some new people that play horse games, you might meet some people here. Or you might not. Just kind of depends. I used to play Alicia online, but I haven't played it in a long time. I am exhausted. I need to go to bed at some point tonight. <laughs> at some point, probably like a couple of hours from now. Yeah. With how much backlash they got, I wouldn't be shocked if they do finally publicly address the situation. But knowing how hard they try to cover up their bad actions, you know, you probably not. Probably not. You know what I find funny, though? A long time ago, someone had posted just, like, some in innocent art artwork of Pride Flag-themed horses during Pride Month. I love the Ranch of River Shine. That's one of my favorite horse games. But someone posted an artwork and there was like a trans flag fjord or something. 
And I was like, oh, you know, as a part of the community, I really love what you did with the designs and stuff. You know what's funny? The moderators deleted that message. Why? I don't know. But I literally could not find it again. Like a, like a week after. So, some games I enjoy on Roblox. I don't know if these would be, like, up to your taste or whatever, but I can tell you guys some of the games I play. Maybe you could try them out, see if you like them. Um, I've been playing Horse Valley. I've been playing Mining Inc. Remastered. I actually enjoyed that game a lot more than I thought I would. Also, thank you for the sub. Um, Overlook Bay 2 is kind of cute. It has, like, some cute pets and stuff like that, but it does cost Robux. Adopt me if you like pets or cute things. Horse Destiny is a good horse game, but it's mostly roleplay based. Um, Farmstead is good. If you like farming, you'd like Farmstead. Um, if you like dragons, you might like Dragon Adventures. That community is a little bit toxic, though, so I'd be wary on that one. World Zero is fun, especially to put like to play if you have friends that you could play with. Bloxburg is also a good one. Uh more of a role play game and it does cost Robux. It's not too expensive though. I've heard of Paleo Pines. I didn't know it came out though. I'm gonna have to I'll have to buy that. I had that on my wish list. I didn't know it came out. Yeah, there those are some of the games I've been playing lately though. I literally don't think there's any other horse games where you can actually catch horses. However, I am possibly going to be trying to make a like work on a project soon that might allow something similar to that. I don't know. I'm in the works of making my own horse game though. I'm already working on one that's like more of a passion project. And I might be trying to work on another one that's going to be more similar to Wild Horse Islands, but I'd have to build up a team of, for, of people for that first. You know, like, a bunch of Pride stuff got deleted in the art channel, but then some of it didn't. Like, it really seemed like they were playing favorites. YouTube is glitchy like that. Sometimes it just unsubscribes people for literally no reason. I've never actually played Horse Isle 3. I've had some people tell me I should try it, so I might try it someday. Moderator actions are now unappealable. Oh, that's so convenient. Oh, wait, yeah, um, on Ranch Riverside, you can catch horses, but it's not on Roblox. It does cost money.
I don't think that there's any other Roblox horse game specifically that you can catch horses in. Wild Horse Islands got so popular because it was so unique. As well as help with lots of videos being made and content being made and stuff like that. But the appeal was there because of, like, the unique mechanics like catching horses. But now, slowly, more games are branching out to have that. I don't know, it, seems, it sucks, because, like, a lot of the good horse games have terrible moderation teams, or, like, really toxic communities. Hold on, I'm shooting a message to producer really quick, letting him know what's going on. If you guys don't know who producer is, producer is a horse game developer. Who made Horse Destiny, Horse Riding Elite, and Horse Racing Club. They're one of my friends. Super chill, super cool dude. If you want horse games on Roblox to support, I highly recommend supporting producer underscore H. They put a lot of time and effort into their games, and they really do care about the community. Producer's a good guy. He's a very good person. Yes. It's producer underscore H. They have three different horse games that you guys can try out. I know one of them has a horse catching mechanic, but it's not similar to Wild Horse Islands, really. Yeah, they actually just released a new game with even, like, higher quality models. Oh man, Horse Destiny shot up from, like, 13,000 vi visits to almost 60,000. Here, you guys want to see Horse Destiny? This is producer's newest game. It's honestly, like, pretty well made, but there's only really roleplay mechanics right now. I can't turn on my audio because I will get copyrighted. Load. Okay. It's loading slower because yeah, I might have played this game a little bit. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> That's all. Just a little. <laughs> I've already done this. Oh, he gone. But yeah, it's mostly just a role play game, but it does have elements similar to Horse Valley, like with the uh, with like you know, like the little training points and stuff. It's a very good horse role play game, and he did say in the future he would like to add more mechanics and stuff. But right now it's just role play. You can also mine for points, but that's it. That, that, that's that's mostly the mechanics. But he's put. A, I've seen him put a lot of time and effort into this game already. I know he really does care about the community. Like he would. He was constantly asking me about like, oh, do you think the community would like this? And showing things off on my streams and stuff, asking people what they thought and what they should change. Producer is a good person. If you want to support someone who makes horse games and really supports the community, producer's your guy. You know, I I pl I've played this game probably a little too much for my own good, but you know, it's very addicting. I can like start jumping and then just sit here for like an hour while talking. 
and it keeps me entertained. I don't know what it is, man. It's it's so entertaining with it being such a simple mechanic, which I think this is why Horse of Val uh, Horse Valley has so much appeal to it. But like I don't know, they have like a ton of animations too. And also my personal favorite thing, the cinematic camera. Thank you for the sub, I appreciate it. I love the cinematic camera. It reminds me of Red Dead. I am sorry if you guys hear my dogs barking. My, my family is awake. When you say, uh, no comment, Tango. Horse Riding Elite is made by the same person who made Horse Destiny. It, it's a pretty good game. I suggest checking it out. <laughs> no comment, Tango. Um, I am probably going to end stream, though. I'm getting a little bit tired, and I probably will, like, do some looking through some of the, uh, some of the different Wild Horus Islands. Unofficial servers and stuff like that. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. But yeah, I... I hope you all can figure out what games to play, or if you keep playing Wild Horse Islands, you find a better Discord server to be in than the official one. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it's also 5 a.m. here. But I hope you all have a good day or night, and I hope all is well for you guys besides the whole Discord. I will see you all later. Bye, everyone.